the Tyrannosaurus Rex, one of the most feared predators of the Cretaceous Earth. With a bite force of multiple tons per square inch, it was truly a formidable opponent for anything that crossed its path. It could reach speeds of 30 miles per hour, but only for a short distance before it might fall over. It had probably had low stamina due to using so much energy to move its massive body. Hunting for the Tyrannosaurus wouldn't have been easy, especially with smaller, less slow prey. This Pachycephalosaurus could feed the Tyrannosaurus for maybe a couple of days. Probably less though. The T-Rex is a pretty territorial animal. It would roar off anything that would try to take its food, but if necessary, it would tussle with any predator or herbivore. Just the sight of Tyrannosaurus rex, or the sound of it, more likely, made animals flee in fear. Tyrannosaurus rex's color proves that this is a male T-Rex. Perhaps it is searching for a mate. Females have a distinct brown color in this part of Judith River. They are slightly light brown with a tan underbelly, and sometimes containing black spot that's along the face. Tyrannosaurus's mouth was about six feet long, able to take a human in one bite, and it relied primarily on its sense of smell to track down prey. Of course, like every animal, it has to drink. T-Rex likely didn't live too close to water, but probably in the Cretaceous forests of Judith River and Hell Creek close enough to water where it could survive, but far enough away so it can hunt and not drown. Corythosaurus is probably a primary food source for Tyrannosaurus rex, considering how large it is. The Corythosaurus could probably feed a T-Rex for weeks, maybe longer, if the T-Rex is good enough. The T-Rex does a little marking of the territory to ensure that Corythosaurus will be its forever. No animal would dare challenge the Tyrannosaurus rex, at least no animal in this area. Tyrannosaurus' size was a rather intimidating sight. Though it wasn't the largest theropod at the time, it was still mighty big considering the area. Though the T-Rex may have been a large predator, there are still some challenges. A pair of Albertosauruses and a Deinonychus scour the area. The Albertosaurus may be a threat towards the T-Rex, because alone they may not be able to t challenge one, but a pair of them, that could spell trouble for our young lad here. The Deinonychus doesn't seem like much of a threat seeming that it has been separated from the rest of its pack. Hey everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the video, but I just wanted to thank everyone for 150 subscribers. Yay! I'm not really good with talking to uh, the audience, as you may or may not have told from my 
uh, lack of talking in a lot of the videos. But uh, thank you all so much for um, joining me through this amazing adventure. And as the time I am recording this, it is 150 subscribers exact. There's probably going to be more by the time I'm done recording this, but who knows. Anyways, thank you all for being so supportive, and blah 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 blah, you know the drill. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye